you very much. So we have some special guests who've been invited today to ceremony newly administer an oath of office to our newly elected members at this time. And just a few brief words about the oath of office. It's a binding promise or statement of fact taken upon the signer's honor. Um, they may swear or affirm an oath. Public officials are required to take the oath of office before taking any official actions. And this is a ceremonial, serious honor. So at this time, we are honored to invite Vice Admiral Anne Rondo, who is president of the Naval Postgraduate School, to administer the oath to our new Monterey Mayor, Mr. Tyler Williamson. Prior to uh, starting, I thought I would take, if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Mayor, soon. Um, my boss. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tyler will awe your boss. Um, so, briefly, okay, the city of Monterey. It is wonderful to be able to have this privilege and honor. The United States Navy and the military have been such a part of Monterey for so long. I remember that Clyde was at my, um, my own uh, inauguration as president of NPS, and the, that just goes back to the history of us. I've had the privilege of being in city halls around the country as a base commander, as an installation commander, and each time our contacts as a military with the citizenry with whom we live, with, with whom we cry, laugh, live, and, and enjoy life is really important for all of us. So this is a privilege to be here with the great city of Monterey, fabulous city, and now this honor uh, being with Tyler and with you uh, is on behalf of all of us who just and enjoy and treasure this great city. So Tyler, we're going to go ahead and do this. I kind of feel like I should be in a rock, in a rock band or something. <laughs> okay. uh, this is very similar to a military oath. It, it's, a, it's an oath that every president of the United States takes relative to where he or she is and that all public servants take. Very similar. And as we listen to it, think about the commitment. Oath is a promise. It's a covenant that service of service and obligation. And so these words are really important. And when a person internalizes them, they realize how easy it is to serve because it's the integrity of that sense of service that touches our hearts. So Tyler, state your name in the right place. I. I. Tyler Williamson. Do you solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I will support and defend that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the to the um, Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California and the Constitution of the State of California and that I take this obligation freely and that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will faithfully and well and I will faithfully and well serve the duties serve the duties upon which I am about to to encounter to enter upon which I am about to enter. Tyler, it's great to have you as a mayor of Monterey.
we are. Here we are. So in the spirit of a few pre-comments, I want to say my family uh, moved to Monterey when I was in second grade. And uh, they chose Monterey because of the community, because of the, the schools, because of the public amenities that are here. And um, I feel so lucky that I get to not stay in Monterey, but get to live in this larger community um, and raise my son here. And it is so important that our children see leaders who look like them, who have lived experiences that are diverse and broad, who have, um, who have a vision that is beyond that which our cities were founded um, on. And Dr. Barber, you bring that. You're bringing that, you are bringing that, and you are brave to run, and you are brave to sit in these seats. Um, and if I can leave you with any advice, it's that um, I hope that you're able to lead with love and lead with integrity and lead with knowing, lead with the knowledge that simply by you being here and you sitting in that seat, it's opening up doors and shattering ceilings um, for so, so many little girls, big girls, boys, all of us. Um, we, we are, we are, um, we're so lucky to, to have, um, to have you in the seat. So thank you for running. Thank you for being willing to sit in uh, service to our community here. So with that, I, Kim Barber, I, Kim Barber, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, to the Constitution of the United States, to the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of California, the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully, and that I will well and faithfully, Discharge these duties upon which I'm about to enter. Discharge these duties in which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. And thank you. <laughs> This time we will do uh, the swearing in of Councilmember Ed Smith, and that will be conducted by our city clerk, Clementine Bonner Klein. Hi, Ed. Hi. <laughs> Councilmember Smith, can you please raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, say your name. Edmund Smith. Do solemnly swear. Swear. That I will support and defend. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. I will bear true faith, faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. To the Constitution of the State of California. And that I take this obligation freely. And I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any, any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duty. Discharge the duty. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon, the, upon which I'm about to enter. Thank you. Thank you. support those that are online. Um, I have a lot of family online, so I, a hello to my family online as well, and the, the family that is here, um, and to all of the supporters, endorsers, and just everyone, the community at, at large, um, not just District 1, but everywhere. We thank you so much, and I thank you personally for everything that 
you've done in getting us here because this is not just about me this is about all of us we're in this together and i am just grateful to be able to serve Congratulations, Dr. Weber, and congratulations, Mayor Williamson. Um, I just want to say thank you to uh, all of the supporters. Um, this was an unusual election. As you know, no one ran against me, and so I saved a little time. But as I reflected during the process, knowing that we were going through a changed charter because now we have district elections. So I want to say that I've made a commitment to represent District 2, but actually what does that really mean? And I truly hope that what that means for me and other district council members is that we look at the whole community, that we do not just compartmentalize, that we say we are committed to our entire city of Monterey. As I represent District 2, that means I still represent the city at large, and I appreciate your support. Appreciate all the Facebook notices, the phone calls, the texts. Um, you know, just the last six months has been a tremendous show of support, and I appreciate that. Um, it's a little bit strange having no one to have to debate hard against. <laughs> but we did get to participate in many of the uh, community organized uh, occasions and that was very enjoyable to be with Dr. Barber, Dan Albert, and Tyler Williamson. And we appreciate the effort that this community goes through to make sure that we have honest elections, that we are transparent, that we vet our candidates and we know who the community is electing. So, greatly appreciate that. And thank you so much to the family. Uh, my wife of 49 years, my son, and my daughter-in-law who are here, and my daughter in Florida and her family. Thank you so much for the family support. As has been said tonight, uh, this cannot be done without the support of family. And especially uh, the Tuesday nights that we come together and we think we're going to be done at 9 o'clock and it winds up being done at 11.30. <laughs> but we appreciate the time commitment that the family makes. Thank you for family and friends. Thank you for uh, this being such a wonderful community to be able to continue to serve. And I want to do a shout out to public safety partners, law enforcement, and fire. Thank you for the, well, the job that you do so well. All of the city staff that serves this community. And we get the privilege to see from the start of an agenda item to the completion of the service. And we are so privileged to have so many good servants, excellent servants throughout this community. And much appreciated to all of them because they're really the ones that deliver the goods. Thank you all. So, wow, well, um, I am so honored to be serving as Monterey's next mayor, and I couldn't have done it without community. And, and it's one of the things that has caused me to be here today and moving to Monterey, purchasing a home, settling down here with my partner, Ivan. Um, it's that sense of community. And I felt very welcome moving in here and developing the relationships um, Mayor Clyde spoke about that earlier um, in his departing speech um, about the need for the community and, and how important that is. And so um, I'm super excited to, to get our sleeves rolled up here and, and get to work um, with this new council. Um, and so I just will quickly speak to some of those things. And I know that a lot of you have been following this, and I, I promise I won't be long-winded here, but um, Housing is so important, um, and I know it can seem like a talking point, and it, you know it can seem like it's a it's an issue that you can try to bring up to uh, make folks happy about addressing an issue that might be important to them. Um, I know that housing is hard and it's complex, and I don't think that we're going to solve it over the next two years. Um, but not doing anything at all 
is not a solution, um, I think, for this council. And so uh, I'm, I'm excited to work with my colleagues, but it's not just about us. It's about the community engaging with us and having a conversation about what that looks like for the city of Monterey. So I, I'm, I'm excited to focus on the issue of housing, but very much connected to that, of course, is water. And us as a city in, in Monterey, um, we don't have um, direct uh, control over those things, but we can have the leadership um, to help work with our regional partners on addressing those issues and making sure that we're solving that because we're not going to be able to solve the housing issue um, without it. Uh, and, and the last piece that I will speak to um, is transparency and public engagement. I, I just spoke to this when, when I was talking about the housing piece, but you know, a lot of you were here because you supported me in my bid for mayor. Um, but your work doesn't end here either. I need you all to show up and be present and bring your friends with you because we need to hear from you. We can't just sit in a silo up here and try to get things done. Um, these issues are going to be hard and complex. And at this point, I will even speak to um, the people that didn't support me for this election. I'm not here just because of those the folks that supported me, but I'm here because of the election process and the democratic process that we have. I am here to be a mayor for everybody in the city of Monterey, and I want to hear from you as well. So I hope that we can take this opportunity to engage in, in a public dialogue about practicing this democratic process that we have and really finding those systemic barriers that exist that prevent groups of people within our community from wanting to come out and share their voice in the first place, or being unable to share their voice in the first place. So, uh, you know, again, I promise I won't go long on the issues, but just kind of wanted to highlight those quickly, and I wanted to wrap up by giving thank yous to um, all of my supporters. Thank you all so much for everything that you've done, from door knocking to hosting um, meet and greets and fundraisers, um, to tabling and registering voters. Um, uh, to doing a car parade uh, around downtown. Every single little thing, whether it's putting a stamp on an envelope, every little bit counts. And I just am so honored to have had the support. I woke up every morning during the campaign pinching myself. I'm trying to understand where are all these people coming from that are offer offering me support. People that had no clue who I was or I had no clue who they were. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, thank you to my family. My father, Terry Jack, could you please stand? Is here. Um, my mom, Sandy, is here. Mom, thank you. She was the quasi campaign manager uh, for the latter part of the campaign. I, and I'll just kind of go in a little bit deeper and just say she would go around canvassing with me. So if you could just imagine the, the, the extent to which she would go to waking up really early in the morning and being with me until late in the evening. So thank you, Mom, for that. And then my brother, Ryan, is also here. And he's been a wonderful support as well. So Ryan, thank you. And, and for my family, I want to um, end with my partner, Ivan, um, uh, Ivan Cruz Batista, and my dog, Sa our dog, Sasha. better um, that you have to have that support at home, whether it's saying, hey, you're doing a good job, or help, helping us get back on the right track, and I just appreciate you. Uh, Ivan for being so authentic and, and real and so supportive of me and patient um, as I'm running around with uh, a very thin schedule. So thank you so much. Um, and then I want to thank my, my colleagues, um, old and new. I, I want to thank um, uh, our, our previous council member, Dan Albert, for running a very good campaign. I think it created a really good dialogue within our community that doesn't end here, um, but I appreciate him for the service over the last four years with me on the council and going through this campaign. His, long, his family's long history of public service, it really just humbles me greater because I recognize um, how important the work is that him and his family have done in the community. So it's just been a great honor. And then finally, I want to appreciate our city staff um, because you all have to deal with us coming in and out um, of office, 
why you're this consistency that keeps the city going. Um, a lot of people will come to me and, uh, at MPS and, and I'm at work and people are like, oh, so when, when are you leaving MPS? And I said, no, I'm not leaving. This is a, a part-time position. Um, because I think people have this idea that we do a lot more than what we really do. And not to discount the work that we do, I think the decisions, the policy decisions that we make are, are really important. But we couldn't do it um, without city staff. So Hans, I look forward to working with you. Chrissy, um, I, I look forward to continuing our work together. And all of our city staff, um, oh, that's, that's technology group. Uh, all of our city staff, and, and, I, and I, Hans, you taught me not to do this, um, but I do have one more thank you that I, I, I want to give, um, which is to all of our partners um, in, in the city. So the business community, I, I look forward to continuing our partnerships as we move forward. Um, in our military installation. So, ma'am, thank you so much for doing my swearing in. And um, as much as I respect you and the work that you've done um, at the Naval Post Graduate School, um, I think there's higher symbolism in regards to the need for us to continue to foster those relationships with our military installations within our community, which really is what brought me here. Um, so, I, I, and a lot of the relationships that are, are developed and a lot of people that live here. So, anyways, I'll stop talking. Thank you all so much for being here, and I love you all. Thank you. It's just to thank you for all the support that you bring providing uh, you provide Tyler for this campaign. And the one thing I want you guys to uh, keep in mind, and actually I have to keep in mind every day, is that uh, when we watch the news and we see how messed up politics could be in the world, we always think we can fix it. We have the solution in our brains. But really, how many of us actually go ahead and do something? And Tyler is one, that one person who does it, and does it not just because, you know, there is an ulterior motive like, you know, a family of established or you have a business or something that you're going to benefit of. But he's doing it because him, his family, uh, gave him this uh, uh, morale or this ethic of work, public work. And I am, they, whenever I'm mad at him because of whatever, uh, I always go back at his work ethic. If it's not a run, it's because he's actually uh, uh, addressing something he really believes in. And he lives in Monterey, and we're so fortunate to have him. And now it's kind of like I have to learn to call him mayor, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he says it. He says it. <laughs> Hey Ryan, um, I'm not that great at public speaking, but um, I just want to say that being the youngest of the bunch, um, I mostly support my brother Tyler, and uh, it hasn't been easy for him. Um, he calls me all the time and we just sit and chat and talk about how he's going to pursue or how he's going to change the route to get to where he needs to go. Um, I used to live back here in 2018, and uh, he was doing the same exact thing, just sitting there, motivating people, and just being truthful and honest with people. And I think people understand that, and they tend to gravitate towards that type of energy that my brother brings. Um, and it's just an honor just to be here, and once again, um, at another major event, um, to see him accomplish what he puts out for himself. And uh, I love you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Jared Williams, this time is uh, my dad. When I'm your quick, when he was going to school, I always told him, make sure you eat something before every test, because you can't study when you got rum bellies. <laughs> so that's one thing I always told Tyler, make sure you eat before every test. And then another thing is that when Tyler 
next, I plan something that pans out ROTC, Navy Academy, Counselor, Mayor. And the other day I was talking to MC Fad, I'm not finished yet. And that brought tears to my eyes. I know Tyler said something to him, and it's hard. He will do it. And the next thing is the sky the limit. Thank you for the, thank you for the public comments. I love you guys. Um, so public appearance items. Um, item number four. We're looking at appointing Councilmember Alan Hoppe as the vice mayor for 2023. So pass it to Clementine. I'll tell you that the council has a practice of rotating these seats and um, following the past rotation. Councilmember Hoppe would be next in the line, and if that is council's pleasure, they may make that appointment. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to accept uh, the recommendation and to appoint uh, for January 2023 uh, Vice Mayor Alan Hoffman. Is there a second? I'll second that. <laughs> uh, careful what you wish for. <laughs> All right, uh, roll call vote, please. Councilmember Barber? Yes. Councilmember Hoffman? Aye. Councilmember Smith? Aye. And Mayor Williamson? Yes. Awesome. Vote passes unanimously. Congratulations, uh, soon to be Vice Mayor Hoffa. Um, okay, and I think we're just going to go to a recess, and the council is going to reconvene at 7 p.m. to uh, discuss the, the review the applications and provide direction re the council vacancy. So if you all want to join us back for uh, that discussion, and we'll have some um some consent items as well so with that we'll go ahead and recess the council meeting <laughs>